as seen in the first clip, today is my first milestone day. The day I hit double digits in this in this journey. I have no idea what I'll be looking uh, what I'll be doing at day a hundred when I hit triple digits, or even day a thousand around three years in when I hit quadruple digits. It may be some crazy things or some things I'd consider crazy at this point in time. But I will get there. Slowly and surely, day by day, I will get there. Now, I'm going to talk about today's session, starting off with the plank challenge. You can see, I wanted to take a break more than I did yesterday after the first 90 seconds. This was around the shoulders tap stage and the plank reaches stage, which you can see now. As for the other exercises within the five minute plank challenge, I think I may have done better than yesterday, but I'm not sure, I haven't really thought about it. For my right, um, for my side planks on my right side, I was testing my form, making sure that my ass wasn't too high or too low, or maybe even my hips. That wasn't the case yesterday, but that was what I was doing today. As for the plank ro rotations and also the side planks, I got into my positions quicker than I did yesterday. So that's a slight improvement there. And I've also improved in my starfish planks because this is the easiest it's ever been for me for those sorts of planks in both shoulder strength and core strength. I was tense, I was tensing my core on purpose so I could feel something at that point. And I also improved in my elbow planks within the challenge as I was able to tense my core and breathe at the same time during the elbow planks, the very last exercise in the five minute challenge. That now leads me on to my three sets of 75 second elbow planks. Just like during my 30 second elbow plank within the challenge, I was breathing and tensing at the same time for every set. However, in this video, I only have footage of the first set of 75 seconds. In my first set, a thought popped into my mind that I could count for 15 breaths in and out before checking the timer. So I did that and it's at this point in time, it's more challenging to not check the timer whenever I want compared to giving myself a certain number of breaths in and out before I can go and do it. For my 15th, uh, no, for my first set, I counted to 15, and then that made me end up at around the 75 second mark because there was a time uh, uh, very early on in that set I wasn't doing that. However, for the second set, I was doing it for the second set, I was doing that throughout. So I decided to count to 20 and see how far that would get me, and I got to around the 65 second mark before checking my timer. And when I was doing this, when I was breathing in and out, I was looking at my core as I, I could see it. As I was basically looking behind me, <laughs> I was looking so far down, I was basically looking behind me at my stomach. During my third set, however, it was like my left leg was finding it difficult to, uh, to stay up and I think that's because I could I could have very tight hamstrings and hence it wanted to do that however if I practice my flexibility that won't be an issue so it'd be it'd certainly be sensible for me to do some flexibility exercises after every session both before and after and I could also do it do it during but that may be overdoing it if I do all three 
but yeah I can certainly start incorporating some flexibility exercises after after each session as a cool down I'm now going to talk about uh, my push-ups during today's session as I was writing up my notes I decided I wanted to try s- slow try doing push-ups slowly and not completely extend my elbows either because I was watching some Goku pump and that was some of the some of his advice there and it seems like it's worked so I aim to do 10 reps unbroken as that that was my aim yesterday I ended up doing five I don't mind that though because I did them much slower than I did yesterday after that I plan to do another five um, uh, five reps unbroken but I got four instead and after doing those four reps my chest feels tighter than it ever has done during a push-up session yesterday it felt tight but that was more that happened more after the session instead of during and then after the four reps in my second set of push-ups I did three and then I thought that's it however I went for a fourth push-up anyway however on the fourth push-up I failed and that could have been because of my thought that ah oh, nah that's it I've had enough that's it. I, I sorry I didn't I didn't say I had enough I thought that's it that's enough but that could be I could have failed to push myself back up because of that that thought and for tomorrow for my first push my first few push-ups I'm going to do or I'm going to aim to get six six push-ups slow unbroken and not completely ex- and I'm not completely extending my elbows speaking of Goku pump I was watching another video from Brody Gaines and he was talking about doing push-ups with your with your hands the other way around so instead of right in front of you and you can see them you twist you twist them 180 and then you do the push-up as well to prevent injury I was thinking of doing that I did edit it out but I, I was thinking of doing it I, I, I'm not sure I'm not sure i I probably won't do that because I have no interest in breaking my wrists in summary I'd say I made quite a lot of improvements today today was this session where I've moved forward quite a bit and it was an early session I started around quarter past four and I'm now finishing both the filming editing and voiceover at 5.47 so uh, it, it is an early session and I plan to keep on doing these things early because it means I've set aside a lot of time to be able to do this and everything else that I have going on in my life but for now that's it that's the end of the video take care of yourselves peace and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video that I have here